Hey, this is Kathy for Kathy Cooks You, and welcome back to my kitchen. I am kind of on a little mini pie kick. I had made these amazing apple pie dunkers with some leftover store-bought pie dough I had. Today I'm going to make some pumpkin pie mini pies, and I'm gonna be using these empanada shells or discs that you can get in your freezer section. Um, what I do is I keep them in my freezer and I take them out and put them in the fridge the night before I'm going to use them. So stay tuned to this recipe. We are going to make some delicious mini pumpkin pie dippers and we're going to put a little cream cheese filling in there too. Oh, so tasty. Okay, we're starting with four ounces of cream cheese. This is the cream that's going to go in the pie shell too. And I'm not really going to measure. So I'm just going to put, you know, sometimes it's such a pain to measure. That's probably about a half a cup of um, powdered sugar. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of this vanilla in. And we're going to beat this and get it nice and creamy. My cream cheese was at room temperature. Now this is basically like just a cream cheese frosting. So let's just get a little taste. And I'm only making four um, of the pies because I don't want to eat a bunch of pies. So this is plenty for four. Um, if you want to do all 10, I would double it. Okay, so I decided we're doing as many pies as a whole can of pumpkin will do. Well, I've got 10 empanada shells. Okay, again, I'm not measuring, but I know an egg goes in, some pumpkin pie spice. We're gonna use some brown sugar. And then some vanilla. I should have waited and put the egg in later so I could taste it and it'd be okay, but we're still gonna do that. We're still gonna taste it, even though it has raw egg. Let's give this a little taste and see what it needs. Now, I don't want it too sweet because I've got the cream I'm putting in it. So I think, hmm, but there's gonna be a few that are just pumpkin pie. We're gonna add a little more sugar. Okay, let's give her another taste. Mm, that's better. So it's really what you want. The reason why you need that egg in there is because you want this to set and um, that's important. So let's get assembling these delicious pumpkin pie dunkers. Okay, here's our discs. And you see they have layers in between them so they don't stick, which is super nice. So we're just gonna take one here. And we don't put a ton of filling in it. I'm gonna put a little bit of pumpkin. And then we'll just put our little bit of cream. Oh man, that's gonna be good. And then we're just gonna close it. And you know, we might have been able to put a little more pumpkin in this one. Okay, that's definitely more. Same amount of cream. Okay, there we go. This one has a little bit more in it. Really get those edges sealed. All right, I put a little hole on the top of each one, thinking they may need a little place to breathe. And then we're just going to put a nice coating and egg wash on them. So that way they'll brown beautifully and have a nice golden sheen. Um, my oven is set for 375. Um, I will let you know how long these cook for since I've never made them before. Okay, they're in my outdoor oven because it's still too hot in Florida. Um, they are looking good. They've been in 20 minutes. So we're gonna give them a little bit longer. Okay, our first three are done. I'm cooking mine in my garage in my small oven. It's too hot to 
cook in the house yet or bake in the house. So these took me 23 minutes at 375. In a larger oven, I found sometimes things take a little longer. We're gonna let them sit here for a couple minutes to cool and then transfer them to a plate. Well, that came off pretty easy. Well, that one really came off easy. Oh, they're so pretty. On to three more. Okay, it's time to try our deliciousness. I have some whipped cream here, um, just to dunk it in. Oh man. Mmm. That is very good. It's not as flaky as a regular pie crust, um, but the cream in there is delicious. It still tastes really good. Definitely would serve these at a party. Mmm. And I bet fried up they would be really tasty. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for You. Please subscribe below, give me a thumbs up, and I'd love to hear from you with a comment.